What's going on, you guys? Laxo here again. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have finally gotten the Burn the Witch event. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going ahead and doing my probably about 200 pulls. I'm going to be doing the math that it would cost a free-to-play player to get both characters and as well as a math for the person trying to get the weapons and jades, of course. As you can see, I have about 23k jades and I have about 54 pulls just to represent the actual free pulls that we would get throughout the entire event. I also have the jade rebate, so I will be taking advantage of that as well. And I will also be going over the how many pulls or how many jades you should expect to spend if you are doing this as well. This is just going to be an extra 30 free pulls here, which is going to be nice. And at the very end, I will be covering all the miscellaneous things like the labyrinth and the little dice game that we have here. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it here. As you can see, I went ahead and gave myself about 54 free pulls here. Ooh, seven shards. That's very nice. I There wasn't an exact number as to how many free pulls we should expect. So I counted 35, but there are also many other things that we could do to get extra free pulls as well, like play the actual, you know, mini game that they have, and we can get free pulls that way as well. Of course, that's in there, and they also do, sometime throughout the event, they do some kind of uh, giveaway to give us free pulls or jades or something as well. So I went ahead and accumulated that in there as well. All right, let's go ahead and check out how many I have here. Let's see how many pulls I've done. I've done 100. I'm going to go ahead and... So I need about 15 more shards to get 70 here. That is 7. Thirteen. Alright, I need two more shards to get it. Alright, there it is right here. So three into it, we are going to stop there. So minus seven from 130. It roughly took me about 123 poles to get 70 shards to combined Noel. Now let's go ahead and do the math to see how much it took us jade wise to get both characters let's go ahead and claim all of these jades here all right guys so i did the math really quickly here looks like as a free to play player it would take them about 16,000 jades to get the noel it took, a, took it would take about 16,000 jades to get Noel, and then as a paying player for just this right here, I would take off 30 pulls, which would bring it down to, which would take away about six, maybe 7,000 jades worth of pulls, which would get it down to about 9,000, maybe like 9,500 around there. It would take a take about 9,500 jades to get Noel as a paying $1 per day. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and continue on here. I am looking to get a weapon now. So at this point, I am looking to get 44 of these coupons here. All right, let's continue. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Alright, looks like we have gotten enough here. I'm going to go ahead and say 41 is enough, because if you come over here, you'll notice that we get a bunch of free vouchers as well over here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop right there and say that was enough 
to get a character weapon, which was probably around 155 pulls or so. So it only took me about 155 pulls to get a, a full character and a full character weapon. And as you can see, I actually used all of my jades. So that took me around 23,000 jades or so to get a free weapon or to get a weapon as a free to play player and a character as a free to play player. And if you are doing the $1 a day, it would probably take you around 17,000 jades or so to actually get that weapon and character. Yeah, around 17, maybe 16,000 jades. Of course, less if you are always lucky. But I, I did feel like this was actually pretty lucky on my part. All right, let's go ahead and finish it off all the way to 220 pulls. Then I'll give you guys all the final numbers as to what I get. That's actually not a bad one. Look at this. 20 character shards on that one. Very good. None on that, but I did get seven vouchers. That's pretty good. That was mm, not great, but not good. Not great, but not bad. Oof. I did get six vouchers on this one. That's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and check out the totals here. So after claiming everything, looks like I will end up with a total of... I'll probably end up with a total of around 75 or so vouchers, which is pretty good. And for my character shards, looks like I ended up with a total of about 117 character shards. So that is pretty good. 220 pulls, 117 shards. It's not bad. Alright guys, so to wind up this video here, we're going to be going ahead and going over the tour reverse london and the magic labyrinth okay so in order to do the magic labyrinth you get these little vouchers here i apologize they're actually called merit points so with these we will going we will get uh looks like 10 20 30 40 we will get about 50 here on this we will get about 15 here. I'm not sure if this is going to refresh every day. So we get 15 every day for 14 days. I'm actually not 100% sure about that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. By the looks of it, we would end up with about 210 poles. Or two, I'm sorry, 210 uh merit just merits just by doing that i'm not sure if that's right because we definitely be able to get all of these I, th I think so i'm gonna say it's pretty safe to say that we could probably get everything on here but with that being said let's go ahead and see what we can get on these as our points or what we get as rewards so the random prize we can get is Gold, let's see here, I'll just go for the good stuff here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune attempts, Deluxe Bentos aren't bad, Soul Jade's pretty good, Relic Source is pretty good, Awaken Essence, good, Omni Shards, great. Uh, Soul Jade Summon Token's pretty good, Gotcha Token's good. Uh, chain Reaction Prize Tokens and Chain Reaction exchange coins both of those are really really good that's actually why i gave myself a couple more of the attempts than i should have because you can get them from here and the uh, and of course at the very very end you get the actual frame as well all right guys let's go ahead and take a look here at the reverse london so this looks like we're going to get five free chances per day let's go ahead and do these really quick actually oh by the way you can actually complete laps as you see down here you complete the laps and then you actually get prizes so we're going to be going through all of these quite a bit so uh, on this i believe it actually doesn't necessarily matter because you're going to be doing laps anyways so 
yeah, it doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is you want to end up on these because you get really good rewards for these. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look here. So, you'll see here, you get Deluxe Bento, Soul Jades, uh, Relic Sources. Uh, okay, yeah, so as I, as I was saying, about the exact same thing as you would get on the other prizes you get here. Of course, if you don't end up on the big chest, then you just get kind of garbage rewards. But if you end up on those, these right here, the big present looking things, you can get some really good rewards. So we want about four here. Six, it's not bad, should end up over here. And then let's see what happens if we... Oh, look at that. What kind of luck was that? All right. So let's go ahead and do this now. Come here. So I'm assuming that we should end up with more than enough to actually complete all of this. So I'm actually not sure what the best route is here, but I'm going to go ahead and go down and then loop back around to the top here. There you go. We got a voucher there. That's pretty good. Lottery ticket, not bad. I feel like this might be a pretty good route if I go like this. Now I'm probably going to skip a couple here and there, but I definitely feel like this would probably be the best route. Oh, I gotta go in there. If I'm trying to get everything. Didn't even see what that one was. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the rest of my route here. So what I plan on doing is I plan on going this way, coming up here, getting these, dropping down here. I'll probably skip this one here. I'll take a left. I'll come down here. I'll grab these. I'm going to come back up. And then probably the best bet would be to maybe go this way, down here, up here, maybe get all six of these here come around get these come back up I could go this way here and then I could probably swing around this way hook over here grab those two get all these six come over here grab that dice come back down here and then if I haven't already gotten all of these I would get these again get those come back around actually when I come back over here I'd grab these for sure Come back here, grab those, come over here, grab these, finish it off, grab those, and then end up here. I think you pretty much get everything on the map, except for, of course, a couple here. You probably missed that one right there. Maybe a couple over here you'd miss, but you pretty much end up getting everything. And I think I did some quick math and I'd end up with about 150 vouchers I'd need to complete all of this. Now, if my math is correct and we get at least 210, that should be more than enough to get everything or get all the vouchers, come over here, grab that, and maybe even come back and pick up a couple spare ones that I miss along the way as well. So, I'm not sure how many we'll end up with though. Again, my math concludes at 210 just from dailies. And then we'd end up with an extra 50 from here. So we'd end up with 260. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'd end up with 260, but I'm not sure how that would end up. But the good thing is, is that we would end up with at least an extra, I'm not sure, 15 or 20 of these vouchers here. So... Almost as a free-to-play player, just getting the character, we're almost guaranteed to get a weapon outright if we just want to spend everything on a weapon. So, honestly, I'm really liking what I see here. A lot of good rewards for rewards. A lot of fun little quests we can do here. 
I didn't even actually count these dice here, so yeah, I'm actually kind of liking what I see here, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Except for, I'm not sure if we'd uh, end up with seven laps worth of dice. I feel like that's a little low unless we get 14 times five. Okay, so with my math here, I could be wrong, but we need to, with five free rolls times 14, we'd end up with around 200 in 13 free rolls and if we do an average of let's just say three per roll we'd end up with around 150 i'm sorry we'd end up with 71 free dice rolls and the average would be a three so that would be 213 spaces we'd move and then that would be we need to cover a hundred and forty seven spaces total to actually get all the rewards so that would be more than enough if we took the average across the board we would end up with about a spare 50 or 60 spaces to move which would clear an extra lap or two but that's on the low side if we end up with uh, high rolls then we can maybe even clear 10 laps 12 laps if we're really really lucky so anyways guys that is actually all the math you should see this paper that i have right here in front of me it is just scribbled with numbers right now but guys that is actually going to do it for this one if you guys haven't already subscribed feel free to actually smash that subscribe button down there i would really appreciate it help me get to my goal of a thousand subs and quick reminder guys at a thousand subs i will be doing a giveaway so keep that in mind also if you guys would like to hit that like button as well i would appreciate that if you guys would like to contact me for any reason feel free to message me in the comment section or you can join my discord which a link will also be in the description below and you can talk to me there as well anyways guys that is actually going to do it for this one i have some combining and testing to do with these characters, which I will be doing here soon. So with that being said, I will catch you all on the next one.